going to show you today how to free up sticking brakes, front disc brakes on my bike. When I go out and ride it, I can free it. And the way I can free the, the sticking brakes, take a rubber mallet and hit here. On the other side, it'll free them up. And I'm going to show you and myself what to do to uh, rectify that problem so I don't have to do that. It's a common problem when bikes are stored over the winter and uh, I live in the southeast. It's humid down here. So here we go. There's a couple reasons why they could be sticking. One is the pin that the uh, caliper pivots on and this one is well lubricated it's not sticky so I don't think that's my problem and the other thing is the caliper itself that presses the disc or the pads against the disc and uh, I think that's probably my problem okay we got the bolts out and pull the caliper off And here's my problem. You can see these pistons right here are all gummed up. And so when the brakes are compressed, it's sticky in there and uh, needs to be cleaned up. So I'm going to take these pads out. And the way they come out is take that clip off right here. And these two pins will slide out pull out this way and then I can get the pads out and then I can compress the brakes and push the pistons out and clean them up. You can see these pins are pretty gummed up so I'm going to take an emery cloth and wipe them down and uh, the second one's a little sticky in there and so I'm going to clean this first pin up and then use it to push that one through and then clean that one up. And now you can just lift the pads right out and set them aside. You can see these pads are still good so I'm going to put them back. And this is what I need to clean up. So I'm going to put the brakes on and push those pistons out as far as I can so I can clean them up. All right, press the brakes now. Potentially some brake fluid could come out if I actually push all the way out, but you can see that moving up. I'm going to hold this one back, see if I can get the other one to move a little bit. I'll try to hold this one back, see if I can get the other one to move. There it goes. That's probably the one that was sticking. And I just want to make sure that they're free. Yeah, it's pretty sticky in there. So I'll loosen this one and there we go. Okay, I just quickly wiped out wiped off these pins. You can see how nice they are. And I've got these pistons pushed all the way out and uh, I'm actually going to get an oil pan because uh, brake fluid is probably going to drip a little bit. But I'm going to pull those out. They're too dirty. I need to pull them out and clean them up good. I'm going to have to bleed the brakes then. Okay, you can see i got an oil pan under there now. got my rag handy. Let's see if I can pull one of these out. Brakes are easy to bleed, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to clean that up, and that'll fix that sticking problem.
course, you don't want to get brake fluid on the disc or the pads. I move the pads out of the way. Wipe everything up real good. And brake fluid will remove paint, so you want to get that wiped up quick. Okay. This, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's really gummed up and it's got a, I mean, I can feel that real heavy, sticky grease on there. And so I'm going to spray it, spray it with uh, some brake cleaner just to break that up. And uh, that comes right off. I'll wipe it with my rag. You can see it's already coming off. And then I'll take uh, my emery cloth. It's similar to it, what I have. The emery cloth works good. It's just like a mild Brillo type pad and just clean it right up. It's nice and smooth. It won't stick. And then I'll wipe the inside of the cylinder that this piston rides in. Make sure the uh, seals are good in there. There's two seals and uh, you can check those but you can see that nice and clean that'll slide right in and out like new all right I'll do the other one and put it back together wiping out the inside of the cylinder here carefully clean it up nice I don't know if you can see in there but it's nice and clean and I'll clean up this surface around here after I get this other piston out. Make sure that's nice and clean. No gumming up along the edge there. Okay, I've got these pistons all cleaned up. And all cleaned up inside. So I'm going to slide them back in. Which takes a little coaxing sometimes and you want to make sure to get them in straight. And then I'll put it back together and we'll bleed the brakes. Okay, that one's down as far as I want to go. Now work this one down. Hit a little sticking point there, so I'll move it around. Kind of look where it needs pressure. There it goes. Just got to get by those two seals. There you go. I'll put the pads back in. I want to make sure everything's real clean. Pad goes there. And I'll take the first pin. There's a little spring down in there too that'll stay in there. You can take it out if you want. But when you put these back in, you need to push down a little bit. And then that pin will come through. And same thing with the other side. There it is. Put the other pad in. Of course I put them in the same way I took them out. And get it lined up. Again it's spring loaded. And there it is. You can see it coming through there. And I'll just tap it through on the other side. There 
There you go. And then this plate goes back on here. Go through the holes and then you lock it in. Put the bolt back in. Tighten it down. And put it back on. Okay. It's all locked in. Slide it over the disc. Line these up. Put the top pin in. You want to make sure you don't cross thread these. And the bottom one. Tighten them up. All I need to do is bleed the brakes now. Pull the cap off. This is the bleeder valve here. And I'm going to put uh, my bucket or the pan back under there. <laughs> 